Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Severian video. This is going to be the advanced weapon guide. Alright, so before we get started with the video, let me just say, um, there'll be timestamps in the description below. There'll also be a link to my Twitch channel where I stream every night, a link to my Discord where all my community gets together, a link to the official Discord for Severium, and a link to the official website uh, website for Severium. I'll be doing a couple of promo code giveaways in this, watch till the end to find out how to win some of them. Um, if you've already watched my beginner's guide video, then you should have a small understanding on the weapons But if not again, there'll be a link in the description. So let's get on with the video All right, so the first thing I want to talk about in this video is upgrading your guns So if we go to our inventory, we're gonna to go to a basic gun something that's not been done up whatsoever like the Mosin Nagant Nagant is how you spell it, pronounce it <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. So we're going to go right click, go to the workshop. As you can see, this has no upgrades whatsoever. So for something like a sniper rifle, like I'll give some opinions on what I think would be best like when we get to the end of the upgrade part. But uh, for a sniper rifle, if we hover over it, we can see we can get effective range, bleed chance, material penetration, reload time, uh, chambering time, and scope sway. That's for a Mosin. So me personally... I would go for scope sway, reload time, and chambering time. That is me though. Obviously you want to go for your type of play style, but that is personally what I'd go for. We're going to have a little flick through, see if we can get any of these. Unfortunately we failed on that one because it is with silver. Like I said, when you're going for your first ones, so as you can see I have zero out of three upgrades. If you're buying with parts, you only have a 50% chance of upgrading, but you will lose the parts regardless. If you're doing it with gold, you will have a hundred percent chance, and you you know you'll just definitely get there. Unfortunately, we failed again. We're getting kind of unlucky with this. Oh wow, <laughs> really unlucky with this. All right, there we go. So we've got twelve reload, uh, nine stopping power, or twelve stopping power. So I'm going to go with the twelve reload. That's actually not too bad as a starting one. Go for a second one. As you can see now, it's gone up in price on parts and gold. So we're going to go again. Chambering time, 10%. We're getting kind of lucky on this, to be fair. Like, again, that's a good starting point. Go for the third one. It's now 30. The first one was originally 15. Getting to the third one is now double the price. So let's try for this one. Unfortunately, you failed. And we've got 12 effective range, 2 material penetration, and 6 stopping power. Um, the material penetration will be nice, but it's not needed on the Mosin. Um, so we're going to go for, I'm going to say we're going to go for the effective range. Let's get the plus 12% on that. So to be fair, I got kind of lucky on that with the first two. The third one, it's not what I wanted, but it is a good one, especially at 12% as well. I think the max is 15. Yeah, so that's nearly maxed out. Now, when you get these, obviously you can change them, but now it's only three parts to try again and try and respin for something else. This is 100% guaranteed. So if we click here, three parts. As you can see, I can get 15 stoppage power, but you do have another two options, but they cost gold. As you can see here, we have reloading minus 20%, which is the absolute max. I don't really personally use this gun, but I do have eight gold. So I am gonna get this. Like I, I am gonna get that because I'll end up using it one day again, like for a video or something like that. So I'd like to get the 20 reload on it. So yeah, that's actually really good. So yeah, uh, like I said, we got really good on that. Now, chambering time, the max is 15%, effective range. Now, because I do want to get the chambering up to 15, but I don't really want the effective range. I'd rather have the scopes way. So I'm going to do the effective range one, the bottom one first, because obviously, um, yeah, we want to get that scopes way. So we just use free there. Unfortunately, we didn't get it on for free. Didn't get it again. You know, you're just going to have to keep trying. This is where, oh, scope sway, 6%. There we go. So we've now got minus 6% scope sway. And that's how you're going to upgrade your guns. Obviously, again, like I've said this in the last video, the game is not pay to win. It's just if you do put some money into it, you can cut out a lot of the grind. Like, I mean a lot of the grind. But yeah, the game, uh, it's not pay to win. You can just cut out the grind. 
But yeah, that's how you upgrade your guns. You can do this for any gun in the game. You can do it for your rifles. As you can see now, my gun, my Mosin has turned red as well. Before it was um, just like grey like this. That means it had no upgrades. Green is one upgrade. Blue is two upgrade. Red is three upgrade. Uh, yellow is premium, it means it's been bought with real money. But yeah, that's what the uh, colours mean. So yeah, that's how you do the upgrades. Now, onto the second part of the video, we're going to be doing on attachment upgrades. As you can see, if we go into my AK-12, uh, my grip purple, laser purple, silence purple, optic purple, er everything's purple. Purple is the, uh, the max level for this. So we're going to go onto something like, let's go into this little bad boy here. Yep, so you can go onto your attachments, and what it does, like if I go onto my optic here, this has minus 2% aim speed, means I can aim twice as fast, eh, twice as fast, 2% faster, only 2% faster. Recoil from the hip, plus 9%, so I'm 9% worse at shooting from the hip with this attachment. If we right click on it though, and go to improve here, there it is, we can upgrade this to blue, and you'll have a random chance between going between minus 4% aim time and minus 10% aim time and recoil from the hip at plus nine down to plus one. So we're going to upgrade this and what you, how you upgrade it is you chuck in three attachments of the same rarity of it. So let's go for, that's something I'm never going to use. Let's put that in. Something that I'm never going to use again. This laser. Yeah, I've took that off the gun anyway. So that laser. Um. What else am I never going to use? See, I've already upgraded a lot of stuff. This, I'm never going to use that. So as you can see here, for 10 gold, you have a 100% chance to upgrade. Or you can do it for free and have a 50% chance to upgrade. If you if you fail on upgrade, you're not going to lose the attachment you're trying to upgrade. All you're going to do is lose the free attachment, attachments you're chucking in. So let's go free. Unfortunately, you failed to upgrade the item. That is very unfortunate. So I'm going to try and show you again. I don't really want to get rid of any of these, but for the sake of the video, I will chuck some of these in. Um, I'm not getting rid of that. I'll put that in. Unfortunately, you failed. No. <laughs> oh, see, I've I've already used all my attachments to upgrade my AK. That's that's the problem. Put that, put that on. Um, I really don't want to put a sight on or a silencer. That's all I have left now. I have quite a few of these, so I'm going to chuck one of these on. They're probably the worst one. If you hover over them, you can see the uh, the worst stats. Like mine's minus 60%, plus 28%, minus 50%, plus 36%, minus 45 So this is actually quite a terrible silencer. So let's do it with that one. Go free. There we go. It upgraded. We actually got really good on that, on the aim time. As you can see, the aim time minus 10%, which is the maximum. Recoil from the hip was between plus 9 and plus 1. We got plus 7, so we didn't too get, get too good on that. And then we can upgrade again to get it to minus 10, then plus 3 and 1, uh, because minus 10 is the maximum for this, weapon, uh, for this attachment. But you can still get the recoil from the hip down. So you'll upgrade it again. Uh, it'll go to red next time. And then from red to purple, purple is the absolute best. Now, one thing I do want to show you with upgrading attachments again, is if we look at my purple optic. So, all you do is hover over it, aim time minus 12%, no negative modifiers, change reticle, brightness type and color. All right, so we're going to go into the shooting range real quick. So you can do the, only do this when you get them maxed out. You can, as you upgrade them, if you hover over it, it'll show you more options on what you can do. You can also look into the settings if you want to find the button to do this. So let me turn my laser off. As you can see, I have a blue dot. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. I'll make it brighter so you can see it easier. So yeah, because I have this maxed out, it means I have all these options. I can make the dot as small as I want. Or I can go for this, or this, or this. But this is because it's maxed out, so I personally go for... Um, where is it? I personally go for that one, like a tiny blue. I think blue is the easiest to see in my personal opinion. And obviously my Twitch and YouTube is all about blue because of the Zero Life logo. So yeah, that's the one that I go with. I really, I, I, I really like this one, so yeah. 
But that's how you do that. Everything else that you upgrade, get out of my face. Everything else you upgrade, it'll just make it so it has no negative effect or something like that. Uh, leave that match. But the optic for me is the main one that you want to be upgrading, especially if you've got something like a red dot or a hollow sight or something like that, because you'll be able to change the brightness, type, and color. You'll unlock the brightness when you get it up to uh, green. You'll unlock the type when you get it to red. And then you'll unlock the color when you get it to purple. So, yeah. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is the material penetration. So you can actually get this into here as well. You can get an extra two, up to an extra 2.5% material penetration. If we just go into the normal menu, right click on your weapon, go to the workshop, back into this menu again. And you can see on the left hand side here where it says everything. And you can see material penetration, brick A. You can hover over it and it'll show you what your gun can shoot through. So I can shoot through plywood, tin plate, wood and brick. That's all I can shoot through. But if I got my material penetration up, I'd probably be able to shoot like I can get it up by 2.5. So that'd put me to six. That put me to 8.5. So if I got it to 8.5, I'd be able to shoot through steel. You see what I mean? So it's just obviously uh, there's a lot of different types of materials in the game. So you need to figure out what you can shoot through and what you can't. Every single gun is different. If we look at something like my where is it here? My MP7. My MP7 can only shoot through tin plate, so it's got like nearly no material penetration. So if if I've got my MP7 and you hide behind a wall, I can't really do anything until I run out of PQ. If I have my AK, I can just shoot you through the wall if I know exactly where you stood. Yeah. So that's material penetration. Like I said, every single one is different. If I go into my Barrett 50 cal, go to the workshop, this can shoot through everything because it has absolutely max uh, material penetration but if i do shoot someone through concrete it's not going to do that much damage but i can do some damage from it so yeah that's how the material penetration works that is about everything that i want to tell you to be fair i hope this video helps you guys if it did please leave a like drop a comment you know how you think I, how you think i could make the videos better and stuff like that if you did watch till the end and if you want to try and win one of the promo codes it'll give you a set of armor some parts and stuff like that all you have to do is type into the comments below i play severium that is literally it i've got three to give away good luck guys i'll catch you in the next one and peace out